Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been like an attorney since I've done a video for YouTube. <laughs> I definitely took a little bit of a break. It was like a month or something like that, a little over a month, but we'll get more into that later. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video, guys. We're gonna be doing a little hair into makeup tutorial. I'm also gonna be showing you guys my little outfit that I chose for today's look. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into this video. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with hair as I always do. A huge shout out to RPG Hair Company for sponsoring today's video and sending over this super flawless wig. I'm gonna leave all of the details for her down below a description box if you have any questions this is a 360 lace frontal wig so she's gonna give you all of the parting space honey all of it she does have HD lace so it blends it into the skin super well but yeah this wig is definitely like one of my favorites that I have in my stash right now I've been wearing her often and she's just a cute little unit so we're gonna like install her style her up and make her look all cute but yeah like i mentioned earlier i'm gonna leave all of the information for this wig down below in the description box so make sure to check there for any questions so i am not going to be doing the bald cap method today because i'm very lazy i already went ahead and um put my hair like uh in braids to kind of like keep everything flat underneath the wig and i put on a little stocking cap now i'm gonna go ahead and start installing the wig first things first i need to cut like all of this this lace off of the ears because that's too much is too much so I went ahead and parted like the hair there and just used my scissors to cut away all of the extra just so the wig fits like perfectly next to the ears I feel like that's like one of the most like important parts when I'm like installing my wig is like making sure that little ear part is like perfect and cutting enough lace off so everything lays perfectly flat so now that the ears are all good I'm gonna go ahead and start um, securing this lace down I'm gonna be using my favorite lace adhesive from Ebon. It's the Thera Supreme Hold, Extreme Hold, Super Super Good Hold. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one in the black can. <laughs> um, I think it's like the Supreme Hold one, but it's yeah, definitely the one in the black can. This is like my favorite lace adhesive. I love it so much because it's water soluble. So it comes off super easily with water. If you're like me and you don't like to wear your wigs, like while you're sleeping, you like to take them off at night, um, definitely give this lace adhesive a try because it's holds on to like your lace so well, but it's like also extremely easy to remove. Um, and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple layers of that on to um, the skin there to start laying the lace down. And as you can see, it's like the lace is perfection. Like it's literally perfect. It's like I have no complaints about this wig. It just, it's, it was a flawless install guys. It was a really flawless install. RPG hair definitely does not like play games when it comes to quality. Like they always come through with like quality wigs anytime I've ever worked with them. They're definitely like one of my favorite hair companies that I love to work with because I just always know that the quality is gonna be there when it comes to these lace units. And this wig is no different. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up installing this wig. I, from here, everything is pretty much same, same as far as like installing is concerned. Like, um, I think after that, I just went ahead and like cut away all of the extra lace and went into like styling and stuff like that. I thought I was gonna be doing like a cute little like half up, half down style. So um, I ended up like, uh, straightening the hair to to get like the style that I was initially gonna go for but then I was like you know what I kind of want to just do some nice like really cute curls and call it a day so you'll see like eventually that the hair just like randomly just ends up magically straight and um it's not magic I went ahead and straightened the hair off camera and then came back and changed my mind because I'm indecisive sometimes but yeah so uh but yeah same same when it comes to like installing and styling I just used my curling wand to create the curls did a cute little edge and called it a day I just wanted this hair to be like super cute and just very simple but like lots of volume and body and just like you know 
giving supermodel hair if you know what I mean. But yeah, I also wanted to give you guys a little life update and kind of let you know what's been going on for like the last like a month and a half or so that I've been away. Um, happy New Year, by the way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're in 2023. I'm so proud of myself too. I haven't like miswritten the year on any forms or like, you know, paperwork or anything like that. Usually like within like the first two weeks of like the new year, I'm like still writing the previous year, but I haven't messed up yet and I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, happy new year. <laughs> I know for me, I think I like kind of like stepped back from social media to around that time, actually. I think it was like November or something like that. Honestly, I think for me, I just really needed the break. Like I really, really needed the break. 2022 was really, really, like really rough for me. Very, very rough. It was probably, I can safely say that 2022 was the most difficult year of my entire life. Like it, it really was like emotionally taxing, spiritually taxing, physically taxing, like all the things like 2022 came for my neck. Like it really, it really, really did. And I think towards like the end of the year, after spending like months and months of like trying to like just keep moving and keep going, like keep pushing through, like at towards the end, I think I was just kind of like, you know, done, done trying to like push through and like my mom, my body and my mind just kind of like in during that time said enough is enough. Like you need to step back from everything and just give yourself some time to like to rest and to really heal like all of the wounds that you experienced, you know, within the year 2022. And I think that that's pretty much what happened like to me. It was definitely a lesson that I'm very glad that I learned, you know, not to suppress any emotions that you may be experiencing, especially ones that involve like anxiety or stress or sadness or anger, you know, any of those like, you know, emotions that are typically deemed as like negative. Um, it definitely was a, was a learning experience for me not to like suppress those things. Um, for me, it was a lot of sadness. I think with social media, I, th I think the reason why I was experiencing so much anxiety when it came to social media was because I felt that, I think I felt that I needed to push down my sadness and uh, that's not, you, that's not good. <laughs> like that's not, that's not good. That's not healthy. Like you can't, it's never a good idea um, to suppress like any type of like emotion that you feel um, for the sake of like work and just like pushing through. For me, journaling has been like a huge thing for me, like why it's so important to like express your emotions and in a healthy way, of course, like, but why it's so important to do that because when you suppress everything, like at some point, like it's going to catch up with you. And I think that's literally what happened to me. Like at the end of the year, like everything caught up with me. Yeah, and I think that's the reason why I was just like, you know, forget social media. Like I'm out of here. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm literally out of here. Um, but yeah, I think that was just after, that was definitely after just like months and months of like suppressing, you know, emotions that didn't need to be suppressed that way. And, uh, everything just kind of coming to a head towards the end of the year and me just, you know, responding by like finally giving myself the time to heal properly in the way that I needed. And um, yeah, I'm very happy that I took the time away. It's It was definitely needed. I feel like a sense of gratitude, you know, that I'm able to, to do this, that I'm able to be at home and work from the comfort of my home. Like, it's like everything feels very different, like in a positive way. Like just there's a, there's an air of like gratitude in all of this that I'm doing, and especially for you guys, because you continue to watch and support me and send me like lovely messages. If I feel like that gratitude which is kind of renewed during that time. And I'm very, um, I'm so, I'm very happy that I took the break. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that it was so long. It was definitely needed. And um, 
I definitely feel a lot better. <laughs> oh, I'm done with the hair. Oh yeah, that's the hair. So this is pretty much what the hair looks like at the end. Just something super cute, very like soft curls, nothing too crazy. Just wanted to keep it really simple and really pretty for today's look. I was planning on running errands afterwards, so I didn't want to go like too, you know, crazy with like the looks. Just everything looks super pretty and super simple. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the hair. Um, I'm also going to do my makeup afterward. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, the makeup look that I'm doing today, again, like I mentioned before, is also really simple. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about like, you know, like the process and everything like that because I wanted to kind of give you guys like a little a life update, you know, outside of like my break from uh, uh, from social media. Like a lot of you guys have been asking me about like how I've been doing with Chicago and stuff. And um, so I definitely wanted to like let you guys in on that because Chicago has been, it's been really amazing. I'm so, so very happy that I moved here. I absolutely love it. It's been super, 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 super cold. <laughs> Ah, it's so different from Miami. Like it's so wild how different it is. It's funny because sometimes when I come across people and I tell them that I'm from Florida, they're like, why did you move here? <laughs> But yeah, I'm very happy with like my move to Chicago. It's been amazing. I love my apartment. I just, I love everything about like my life here. And I can already tell like, this is gonna be like where I plant roots and just like grow from here. I don't intend on moving anywhere else. I am like done with moving. It's so, so trash. I, it's just, it's just trash. Like it's, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot. Um, so yeah, I can already tell like, this is gonna be like my, my place and I'm just gonna continue to grow from here. But yeah, I know that you guys have been asking about Chicago and how I've been dealing with all of like the weather changes and stuff like that. And I feel like I've been doing really well. Like I definitely prepared myself thoroughly. I bought myself like a lot of, you know, winter coats and stuff like that. So I was, I came into like the winter season very prepared and I think that that's what's made the difference for me. Like if you are underprepared for the winter season, the winter season is gonna be trash. But if you come in like, you know, prepared, like with an understanding that, you know, layering is necessary, like a good long coat is necessary, gloves are necessary, earmuffs are necessary, a good hat is necessary. Like when you come, if I think if you come into it with that understanding, like you'll be fine. I'm very lucky that I had like people around me that were like kind of like giving me like the details about like what winter is like here and like what I need in order to be prepared. I'm definitely gonna be doing like a, a haul video for some of the clothes, some clothes that I bought because I've been doing a lot of thrift shopping. If you know me, then you know that how much I'm like obsessed with thrift shopping. And um, I've definitely been getting like a lot of amazing coats and things like that from thrift stores. So I'm planning on doing like a haul video, you know, just kind of give you guys a little taste of my style. Cause I definitely have been thinking a lot too about like the type of content that I want to bring like to into the new year. I still want to do like get ready with me type videos and stuff, stuff like that. But I also want to start bringing new elements into like my channel. And uh, I know I've been saying that for a really long time, but I think I actually want to like commit to it now and really like, you know, push myself to be more expansive when it comes to like the topics that I'm like touching on when it comes to like my YouTube channel. Hopefully that makes sense, but yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it, what's been going on here in my life. But yeah, that's pretty much um, like what's been happening so far. I just wanted to let you guys know about like, you know, Chicago life, because that's definitely something that's much newer that happened in my life that I haven't really talked much about. But yeah, so I am keeping this makeup super simple, like I mentioned before. Um, I went ahead and did like my foundation. Like I've just been more so focusing on skin these days. So foundation, concealer, and like a good bronzer, a really good blush. I doing a little bit of bake underneath the eyes, to, like brighten a nice cute brow and then a lip, like a nude lip. Like that's kind of like been the look for me these days. Um, so I think at this point I've already done like my skin and um, I'm moving on to like my brows. I've been loving brow pencils, can't even lie to you. Brow pencils are a vibe. 
Um, they're super, that's because that's another thing that I've noticed that I've been really enjoying when it comes to like my makeup is simplicity. Simplicity and uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, convenience. Ah, uh, yes, those two words, simplicity and convenience. So anything that makes like my routine like that much quicker, that much like easier to execute, I've been kind of going for it. And brow pencils have definitely kind of been like the move for me for sure. Um, compared to like my usual like brow pomade that I used to use. So I went ahead and used a brow pencil to fill in my brows today. I did a little cleanup with concealer. I'm really excited about like my next makeup tutorial actually because I just went over to Sephora not too long ago and I bought like new products from like Makeup by Amario and Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I got some things from NARS and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. So I'm, you know, ready to like film another like makeup tutorial so that you guys can kind of see like all this newness that I have, especially from like PR packages too. Like I got the Rare Beauty highlighters. I'm excited to try those. Um, but yeah, if there's any like new makeup that you guys have been like interested in and like, you know, curious like about my thoughts on them, definitely let me know in the, in the comments because I'd be really like excited to give it a try for you. Cause I just noticed how like boring like my makeup stash is right now. Like I haven't been keeping up with like the times when it comes to like new makeup and things like that. So um, I've been trying to make more of an effort to stay more with the times when it comes to like makeup releases and things like that. So yeah, and it's actually, and I'm, and I'm glad that I'm doing that because it's brought like in a new sense of like excitement, you know, that I haven't felt in a really long time. Um, when it comes to makeup. So if there's anything, anything at all that you're curious, you know, what I think about, definitely let me know in the comments because I'd love to check it out and see if maybe I can do a video with it. Anyways, yeah, brows are done. I went ahead and put on my mascara and now I'm just gonna do a little like liner in the waterline. I've been loving like a super cute beige waterline. I really wanna find an eyeliner pencil that's like literally my skin tone because I feel like that would look so cute on the waterline, just like having like a blank waterline. I feel like that would be so cute. But anyways, yes went ahead and did my little highlights. You guys know I haven't been like super into like highlighter like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto the nose. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I feel like stuffy. Oh, I feel like, like my nose is stuffy. It's so random. Um, but yeah, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and work on these lips. I'm just doing like a little cute nude glossy lip combo. I used the NYX Slide On Lip Pencil in shade Urban Cafe and then paired that with a Rare Beauty lip liner that's slightly darker for a little bit of extra definition. And then for my lipstick, I went ahead and used the shade Catwalking from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been really loving this lipstick. It's like a cute, 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 cute peachy nude so so pretty and the formula of these lipsticks are amazing they're so comfortable they have like a soft matte look to them but they're not like overly drying either they're just like a perfect tube of lipstick so so pretty i'm definitely obsessed with this color i've been using it a lot it's so good um so yeah Charlotte Tilbury, and then I'm gonna pop on my lash. I just use my little like lash applicator to place those on. And then for gloss, I'm using one from Laura Mercier. This is their um, lip gloss. I don't know what shade it is, but it's very cute. It's like a light peachy color. Um, I definitely wanted to like pair this with the lip look because it has like that same peachy undertone as like the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and I thought it would go like perfectly together. And I was right. <laughs> It's such a cute like lip combo. I'm definitely gonna be using this, this little combo again for sure. So now that the face is sitting and you know beat to perfection, I'm gonna go ahead and set with some setting spray. I'm using one from Benefits. This is their Professional Super Setter setting spray. This, this look just turned out so, so cute. I've been like obsessing over like this little routine that I've got going on right here. And it just gives me like that perfect, like flawless matte look that I absolutely love. And that'll complete the makeup look. Now that we're all done with that, let me go ahead and show you guys what I did for my little outfit for today. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna be doing more of this like outfits for um, in these videos, like these get ready with me videos in the future. Let me know what you guys think about it because I'm excited. First things first, you're gonna wanna put on your layering top 
so I'm putting on my little layering like a long sleeve like layering top just to like wear underneath like what I've got going on the next thing that I'm gonna put on is my little dress it's like a little sweater dress um, I actually got this while thrift shopping so there's no like real place to buy like something like this just exactly um, I just found it at like a thrift store after that I'm gonna go ahead and add my jewelry I had on like a necklace like a pearl necklace but I ended up taking that off but I did want to show you guys these earrings that I'm wearing I actually made these <laughs> I've been doing a lot of graph projects but yeah I made these little like pearl shell earrings and I definitely wanted to wear it I thought it would look so, so cute with this little look that we've got going on and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my boots I have like on my knee-high socks that I got from Marshalls the boots that I'm wearing are from Target aren't they cute oh my gosh <laughs> every now and again target comes through with like some super like cute finds these boots have been like super nice though they're really really comfortable i love the color and the material is awesome and then for fragrance i'm using this wild vanilla orchid fragrance from floral street oh my gosh this stuff smells so so good i actually bought this at anthropology it's such an amazing fragrance though guys like you have to you know give it a test you know if you ever get the chance last few things i'm just gonna add my coat in my bag the coat that i'm wearing is also thrifted but the brand is Anne klein it's very oversized which i love i love a good oversized coat and then the bag that i'm wearing is also from a thrift store <laughs> Woot woot for sustainable shopping. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you are well. Sending lots of love to all of you. Happy New Year, and um, I will see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>